Alrighty, so here's another short video here. Just got done tweaking this thing just a little bit more. And it's a whole lot better than what it was. And yes, I know if you go back at the videos, it looked kind of bad right in here. Looked like it's all out of whack. I got all that straightened back up. If you've seen part three, that's what I was doing. I had to just barely just pull that thing and squeeze that gap up there. But I got all that straightened out. Welds are, you know, ugly, trust me. I mean, when I first did, the first ones on video number two weren't bad, but yeah, it's ugly. But, you know, you can grind all that out and clean it up. And I am welding both sides of it. I'm welding this side and on the inside as well. The ones on the inside, I'm probably just going to, you know, clean up roughly. And, uh, you know, you're not going to see them anyway, so we'll just clean them up. But the whole point of that is, you know, to put some strength back in this fender here. And that way we ain't got to worry about it. But I made one mistake. I did talk about it a little bit in part three. Probably couldn't hear me too well. I do apologize. But uh, always take into account how thick your cutoff wheel is. Because when you shorten this up like that, you know, you're taking out about an eighth of an inch, you know, just kind of guessing there but here is mr digger but you always got to take account of that and the reason is is you know the thicker the wheel cutoff wheel you use you know you take more material out and when you put this back together it's 